They have one store that did really good for a few months. <laughs> What is up you guys, Addy's here. So I just touched down in the beautiful uh, Bahamas after you know trip from LA, but again, it's just super hard trying to actually make videos consistent. Oh, that's right, I'm just gonna wait until, until, yeah, okay. It's really hard to make consistent videos like while you travel so much, um, but I don't know, I try. I'm trying to figure it out guys, I'm hiring a bunch of people, um, I'm hiring a bunch of people so that I can start delegating and start outsourcing some of the tasks um, with YouTube, um, you know, just editing, thumbnail, like all, the, all this other stuff so that I can make these, make, like, make more videos um, for you guys while I'm always just on the go and whatnot. Um, but I don't know, I think it might be more cool to also start making a little bit more lifestyle, um, not lifestyle like content per se, but just instead of just straight sit down videos which are just really boring, um, kind of just like bring you guys a little bit more into my life. Um, um, which I, I think just that in itself will also help with some of the small kind of like things um, that that like that would help you be more successful in terms of business, right? Um, so that's that's kind of what I'm thinking. But this video, guys, um, I'm getting I got a lot of messages and DMs kind of just talking about oh, you know, my dropshipping store like this this store is doing okay, but you know, it's it's not like my main priority, or it's not no, not my main priority, but like they want to do other stores, or they have one store that did really good for a few months, and then that was it. Um, you know, the sales stopped coming in. They started paying a lot more um, per purchase. Um, Shoutouts just weren't working with them. Um, but the, the thing that I want to show you guys, right, and that's why I titled this video, it's just that like when you dropship guys, especially with you know with e-commerce and online social media marketing and just with like paid ads and everything like that, dropshipping is. Usually, so there's like depending on how you launch your store, right? You can either go a trend-based store, or you can do um, more of just like a necessity um, kind of kind of based store, right? And with trendy stores, right, you're capitalizing on hype, you're capitalizing on social media activity about a certain project, about a certain product, stuff like that, okay? And when you do that, guys, it doesn't last forever. Like hype doesn't last forever. Um, you know, popularity in certain topics just doesn't last forever. Some of it, you know, lasts a few months. Some of it lasts a few weeks. Um, fidget spinners, for example, that lasted a few good months. So people that hopped on the train or were on that train early made a lot of money for a very good few months and then it all stopped right so that's what I want to kind of show you guys with this video and just kind of show you guys my laptop um, and kind of just break that down for you guys so you guys understand that you know when you're drop shipping you can't like the one store you start or like your first store that has good results that's not gonna be the store you like the, the last store you ever make okay when you drop ship you're always making more that's why I have six stores right now okay I mean I, I, I technically have more stores because I'm collabing with a bunch of people that also have really good results um, or people that you know can do really good in certain fields that I can't do as good in so that's that's kind of it but I have six stores to myself right now guys um, and that's 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 the main idea is just you always need to like don't don't get too attached don't get too attached to your store don't get too attached to your Facebook ads to your shout outs to, to all that kind of stuff I know a lot of people that I mentor a lot of people that you know are in the course and stuff like that they, they get too attached to their Facebook ads so they run ads and and they don't and like they don't want to cut them even though the numbers are literally telling you yo cut this ad it's not performing you're losing money you're, you're bleeding money out because of this ad set right so stuff like that so I'm gonna sit down on the laptop right now and kind of just show you guys uh, at least the the one shop account for one of my old stores that did really really well for literally like a month maybe uh, maybe not even that um, I'm not 100% sure let me look at the dates again but that's that's what I want to show you guys I'm breaking down so you guys can understand like okay with drop shipping like you got to be used to um, you know moving on or having a lot of different stores um, multiple stores at once stuff like that All right, so we're gonna set the camera down and uh, hop in my laptop here on here as you can see the stripe account is right here um, We'll refresh this and then the name as you can see is DS shop 3 so drop shipping shop 3 um, and um, So yeah, so guys this one is again inactive, but again it had a very very good sprint um, literally just for I think a month or two uh, I mean, I guess you could technically say two months, but I think towards the end of August, you see here, $10,369.50. Um, but in February 2018, it was $85,968. And then January, so literally January, I wouldn't even count. Um, so yeah, I'd say a month and a half, guys, of just really, really good numbers, right? So ads were, ads were going well, um, stuff like that. But the thing with that is like, it, it was based on a trend, right? Um, and with drop shipping, uh, again, this was drop shipping shop number three. Um, with that, guys, you, you can't, you gotta be, you, you can't get attached, right? And I think that's the biggest thing, um, especially especially with beginners um, in dropshipping, right? Hold on, the camera just, it's just not focusing today. The thing with dropshipping, guys, is, is especially with the beginners, they get too attached, okay? And what I mean by that is, you know, you start this store that you spend a lot of time on, which usually when you start dropshipping, you actually don't need to spend too much time on. Um, you're really just a few hours if you know what you're doing. Um, I'm actually gonna make a video about that, just launching a store in an hour, but, 
guys, you don't need to spend that much time, but a lot of beginners, because um, it's the first time, right? You do feel like you need to spend a lot of time on your website to perfect every single thing, um, your social media platforms, to curate all the content, just do this and that, right? Um, and you spend so much time, right, that when you, when you realize, or when, when you finally come around to realizing that like, oh, okay, this trend is dead, or this product isn't, you know, it's not a winner, it's, it's, it's gonna be really, really hard, um, especially at, at your experience level, to make a lot of money with it, um, they get, you know, really, really, like, disheartened, and, uh, they, they kind of just like they most people right would just quit drop shipping um, the point the, the problem with that is guys is that with drop shipping again it's very very trend based at least for for the for the people that make a lot of money very quickly over like a period of several months that's usually a trend okay for people that make really good money um, pretty steady all right so hey maybe you're making 30 to you know 70k a month um, that could be relatively steady right um, depending on your, on your marketing and the product and whatnot but if you're doing you know a month where okay hey you made you know almost ninety thousand um, dollars and then it sort of just died down from there it, it, it's trend based all right um, and that's what this was for this one we capitalized on a trend scaled it blew it up for a bit and then right when we saw it was done we we're like all right we don't want to waste any more money we don't want to spend over you know x amount of money per conversion stuff like that um, so we just stopped and opened up another store right so okay guys that's it, it's it's like a double-edged sword, guys. That's the beauty of drop shipping, where you're never tied down to anything. Okay, you can start up a store, literally less than fifty dollars, get everything running, start making money the very next day on a trend. Okay, the problem with that is once it does die, you do need to you know restart, um, and that's that's something that a lot of people just can't really get around or wrap their head around. But it's something that I wanted to show you guys, um, just because with you know with with drop shipping and with uh, a lot of you know naysayers or just people that just don't. Don't don't vouch for it. Or they they don't like dropshipping, right? They, they always say like, okay, well, you know, dropshipping is dead, or you know, this this and that, right? The thing with that is, the industry guys is literally supposed to double in the next two years, okay? So anyone who's saying that any sort of e-commerce is dead is not really looking at the actual data or the actual numbers of it per se. But um, yeah, guys, again, I don't want like, this video too long and just drag it, drag it on. Um, again, this is a super quick video, um, just showing you guys. Okay, look. This was a this was a trend based store um, that made almost you know a hundred thousand dollars in its in its very very short time um, lifespan right um, capitalizing on, on a trend that you guys can do just as easily okay um, but yeah guys that's that's the video I'm out here in the Bahamas um, just trying to make at least some sort of content for you guys that so you guys at least can like at least for this kind of understand um, I guess the the whole process and funnel and again guys for this one we actually use Stripe so we didn't use Shopify payments or anything like that because. So they Shopify payments is a lot easier to get hit with a hold. Stripe is a little bit easier to avoid, and then Authorize.net if you use that, which we do for some of our payment processors or for some of our like stores, um, that you you basically won't get hit with a hold. Shopify payments is basically a subsidiary of Stripe, so Shopify payments hits the hold. Stripe will sometimes hit you with the hold, guys. Um, but Authorize.net you're usually pretty safe. But that's why we use Stripe for this one, just because we knew we were going to be doing a lot of volume very quickly. We didn't want any of that money to get held up, um, so. We, we use Stripe instead of Shopify payments, okay? Um, but yeah, guys, so that's that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys gave you, like, at least some insight or um, some, you know, inspiration, some some knowledge and just, like, okay, with dropshipping, you know, um, you always need to be ready to, like, to move forward, to move on, to move to this next store, the next shop, the next product, um, and st stuff like that, guys. So, again, um, I do plan on making, you know, taking a Shopify store live, so that should be one of my next videos here. I will be taking a Shopify store live in, you know, less than an hour. Um, I'll show you guys how to actually generate your first sale in less than 20 minutes after being live. I got, I got so much stuff planned for you guys and then um, at, like with that being said I'm adding a whole bunch of stuff into the course guys I might actually be raising the price so if you are interested in that uh, link is in the description as you guys see if you if you visit the new course page you'll see that there's already some new stuff in there um, so that's stuff that's already in there and about to be in there very very soon um, and then I have even more secret stuff that that I can't tell you guys because I'm going to basically be using that, um, adding that into the course, and then upping the price um, a little bit down the road. So that's the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, respond to everybody's comments. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully still in the Bahamas, so I can make more content for you guys. But if not, I will be in Arizona and Washington um, right after this hangout with, you know, I think you guys know Sebastian and some of the other boys. So that's the video, guys. I will see you guys next time. Take care and peace.